how to create a fiverr portfolio hi guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can create your very own fiverr portfolio in just a matter of minutes so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to fiverr.com now once you're over here if you already have an account you can go ahead and sign in but if you don't have an account i recommend you know signing up so to sign up just simply click on the join button over here at the top right corner and once you click on it, you can either sign up with Google or a Facebook or Apple or simply enter in your email manually and then enter in a password. I recommend signing up with Google because it's very easy. You don't have to put in a lot of different details. Everything is quick, simple, and you can easily sign up with just a click of a button. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up with my Google account and I will catch you guys in the next step. Now, once you have signed up, this is how your website will look like. So before we create our own portfolio, what I would recommend is going on to Google and searching for top freelancers on Fiverr and seeing how they, you know, basically have done and created their portfolio. So let me just go ahead and search for it. So over here, as you can see, this is the Fiverr's list of 24 of the best services that they offer. So if we go over here, we can see these are some of the people that are available. So this person over here, he designs professional PowerPoint presentations. This will, you know, do real estate cold calling. We have many, many more. So let's just check out this person over here and see what kind of portfolio he has. But before I do that, let's just check out someone who is creating videos and stuff like that, because that is our main thing. And I would say that if you are, you know, uh, trying to create videos, then you should also check out people who have already created videos. And if you're trying to, you know, uh, be a content writer or a copywriter, find someone who does, you know, copywriting and stuff like that so that you have a better idea of how to, you know, set up your own portfolio. So I'm going to go ahead and check out this one. So he does selfie style videos on green screen uh which could be pretty interesting it does fall in our niche a little bit let's just go ahead and check it out okay so this is the live portfolio guys so what it that basically means is that on fiverr you have two portfolios you have the live portfolio and then you have your my portfolio so what did that basically means is that whenever you complete a job you submit that job and client likes the job and if he approves the request to show this finished product onto your live portfolio then fiverr will automatically create your live portfolio like this and it will sh showcase all of your you know creations and you cannot edit this portfolio you cannot de delete this portfolio whatsoever you can turn it on and off in settings but you cannot you know make changes to it you cannot add things to this portfolio it stays the same Fiverr will be the one handling this portfolio. Now, the second portfolio is my portfolio, which you can access onto your profile. This is what I'm talking about. This is how it will look like. This is the second portfolio over here. You will have to, you know, demonstrate your skills, your experiences and stuff like that. So this man has a pretty small portfolio. He just says, hey, his name is this. He offers you selfie style videos on green screen for your project. So you just need to send me the details about your project, send the script as well and i will deliver high quality selfie videos in no time and then he just says wish you all the best feel free to contact me if you have any questions so this is a pretty simple portfolio and that is what i'm talking about so now let's go ahead and set it up so if we come over here onto our profile excalibur this is the profile if you click on profile as you can see this is how it looks like so what that basically means is that we need to set it up over here on the left side we have the public view mode so over here we change a few things and add a few different details so for example we need to add a description we need to add languages we can link our accounts of either facebook google dribble or slack github vimeo or twitter and then down below we have to add our skills basically all the skills that you have if you have video editing skills and video production and content production add those skills over here then down below you have education add education it doesn't really matter but it helps you to stand out a little bit and then down below you have certifications which is really really important now if you have certifications or different skills basically if you have a certificate uh, for adobe in video editing then you can add that certificate over here same goes for copywriting and other gigs as well so it's really important if you have those you should use them they really help you to stand out they really show you that this person is you know professional and he's really really serious about his work then you have some of the other details you should also upload your profile image over here i'm not going to fill out all these details because 
this isn't going to be my main account i don't use fiverr i use upwork in my opinion upwork is better than fiverr because for a lot of different reasons but that is a topic for another video for now we're just over here to show you how you can basically you know set up your own portfolio so for my portfolio over here you have to basically create a new gig now unlike upwork where you have to bid on jobs here you have to create your own gigs and clients will come over to your profile and see what you are about see all your skills past projects and experiences and see if you are fit for the job and then they will you know bid on you and you will have to choose which client you will have to work with so that is basically it so to create a new gig just simply click on create a new gig and over here just simply click on continue continue and over here this is basically going to be your main profile over here so first you enter in your first name and last name enter in a profile picture enter in the description and languages these are all the things that i talked about if you had previously added them onto that previous page then you wouldn't need to add them over here that's just what i'm saying so let me just go ahead and fill this out and i will catch you guys in the second step which is called professional info so guys i was you know uh completing this form over here and i just thought i should look at other people's profiles as well so and i found this person over here her name is anna christina and she's a video editor as well and this is how she you know did her profile this is how she made her portfolio so as you can see it's pretty amazing like she has uploaded her you know link over here this is her portfolio link and down below this is her portfolio with all the skills that she uses so she has kevin harrington michael rick the tasty k so these are all the people and agencies she's worked with and these are all the skills that they she offers any editing that your footage can support animating shapes and various objects two free revisions per project ndas are welcome as well what she doesn't offers are voiceover recordings and audio editing then down below she has also you know added her youtube channel where we can copy paste this into our browser and see all her requirements so this is a pretty good offer this is a pretty skilled person over here like look at all the people that she's worked with she's done ted talks obamacare uh kevin harrington michael rich and hearts to welcome like all these different agencies and i think this is pretty cool so what we need to do is we need to create something like this for our portfolio and over here this is another person that i found and over here this is his gig these are the services that he includes transition title fact color grading basically all the basic stuff that you may need into a making a video and amongst the others these are all the things that he basically can do so logo animation wedding videos corporate videos animated graphics and all the other bells and whistles that you might need in a project and he says he offers fast delivery within 24 hours and he can even make changes after the order is complete and render any file format as the hd 4k it doesn't really matter so these are pretty good gigs and portfolios that i saw so let me just go ahead and complete my profile and we'll get to that in a second so guys after signing into my you know account this is the portfolio that i made so over here as you can see i basically typed in the skills that i have filmmaker vlogger video editor and then i you know added the small line that really makes me feel connected to the people when i'm reading it so and then down here i basically explained all of the things that i have worked with so i've done tv shows trailer clips teasers logo animation intros outros and so many many more you don't have to add that but i just you know said the list goes on and on and then this is the audio service that i provide and then down below i basically added my drive link and over here i've added all the videos that i basically need to prove my skills so this is it keep it simple it's pretty easy and then you can you know uh, adjust the prices as well so over here as you can see i've added some prices over here and then i've added more things down below so and then down below you can add a contact form and this is the one that i was telling you about this line is going to be on your profile this is basically this is just like an intro you don't really have to do anything and once you have done that then you should be able to find gigs that you really really like so having said that guys this is how you basically you know add a portfolio onto fiverr it's not as easy as doing it on upwork but you get the idea of what i'm telling you about so that is it for this video guys if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye